I'm going to break down Vito Iacopelli's famous Poolish recipe. I'm going to explain the difference between his normal Poolish recipe and his double fermented Poolish recipe that you might also know as his next level pizza recipe. So I want to explain the whys and hows of everything works. So, it starts with his poolish. So, for his poolish, he does about, it's about 30% poolish of his recipe. Um, the total recipe is 1,000 grams of flour, 700 grams of water to make it 70% hydration. Uh, 25 grams of salt, which is two and a half percent salt. He also has uh, he does five grams of fresh yeast, which would be uh, let's see, 0.5 percent yeast, and he adds 10 grams of honey, which would be 0.1 percent honey. So he uses a lot of yeast for a poolis. A traditional poolis is to be kept room temperature for about 18 hours. So he would use a lot less yeast than this, but his is a refrigerated poolis, so you can add more and let it slow itself down in the fridge, which might actually help in adding some flavor. So anyway, when you're making the poolish, it's good to get a clear cylindrical container like this so you can add a rubber band and watch its progress. But I'm gonna start with 300 milliliters of water. I'm gonna add, I did two and a half grams of active dry yeast because fresh yeast is half as strong as active dry and one third as strong as instant yeast. So if I was going to use instant yeast, I would use something like 1.3% uh, or 1.3 grams of instant yeast. He says just use five grams of dry yeast. Didn't even specify active dry or instant, but it's good for you guys to get your conversion. So if a recipe says it's two gra or three grams of fresh yeast, you know it's going to be uh, 1.5 grams of active dry yeast or 1 gram of instant yeast. So I'm going by a conversion following the same recipe. Here's my 2.5 grams of active dry yeast. And then he says 5 grams of honey. And he usually just does a swirl without measuring it, so I'm going to see. There we go, that's 5 grams of honey. And a poolish is 100% hydration. So if I added 300 milliliters or 300 grams of water, I'm gonna add 300 grams of flour. I'm using a Caputo Pizzeria Zero Zero flour. And then all you really got to do is mix it together. It should be pretty much a batter-like consistency. And you're going to want to mix it till there's no dry flour, just like you would a sourdough starter. A poolish actually originated from 
the invention of commercial yeast because sourdough starter was 100% fermentate or 100% hydration and that's what they would use to leaven and ferment their bread. So once uh, commercial yeast came into play, they didn't feel like just throwing everything into the bowl and mixing it, for instance, with the yeast. They would actually make a leaven with it. That leaven was of Polish origin, it became the Polish. So once again, traditionally, this would use a lot less yeast and be left out at room temperature for 16 to 18 hours normally. But this is Vito's recipe, and Vito's recipe is left out for one hour room temperature, and then it goes into the fridge for 16 to 20, uh, 24 hours. So what I'm gonna do, in one video it also says to leave it uncovered for 15 minutes, and then cover it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cover it because some videos he says not to do that. It got some air into it, but I know that this is an anaerobic process, meaning it doesn't require outside oxygen to accomplish. I'm going to try to find a rubber band. And mark where it's at to start as soon as I mixed it. And why you leave it out for an hour first is to sort of kick off fermentation. If you threw this right in the fridge, it might take 36 to 48 hours. But this method, I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna stick to the script as they say, as Vito says. And I'm gonna let this sit for one hour. I'm gonna set a kitchen timer. And in one hour, I'll show you the progress of what it got to, and I'm gonna throw it in the fridge. And anywhere from 16 to 24 hours later, I'm gonna be getting ready to make a dough with this. Thank you. All right. So, when I had 15 minutes left on the timer, I just opened it a little bit to get the slightest little bit of airflow. I think 15 minutes in the mix of your hour open is recommended. This is my timer for an hour temperature is turned off so now you can see it rose just a bit over the line now I'm gonna throw it in the fridge it's gonna be there from 16 to 24 hours it might go all the way up to its peak and come down a little bit but that's okay because it's commercial yeast commercial yeast doesn't have any bacteria well maybe slight amounts of bacteria but not much uh, competing with it so even if it's on its downslope, once I add more flour and water and technically feed it for the final dough, it'll be uh, on its way up once again. So I'll see you in 16, 24 hours to make the dough. Bye guys. All right, so the poolish is ready. After 24 hours, See the bubbling on top? You can see it's doubled. It's beautiful. So, start with the water. It's another 400 uh, milliliters of water. I'm gonna wet this utensil to get the poolish out. Using a wet utensil makes it easier. It smells really good. Yeasty. Still got some definite gluten to it. Alright. 
So I'm going to try to dissolve the poolish in the water. So it's pretty much together. Next thing I'm going to add is my salt. I'm going to immediately add the other um, 700 grams of flour. Once again, I'm going to knead it till there's no dry flour. I'm going to add my oil in there. This is 70% hydration, which is kind of a wet dough. So you might want to do some slap and fold. I'm trying to grab all that oil off the table. I would say that's pretty good. So 
now I gotta let it, I gotta let it rest for 15 minutes and then come back, smooth it up and put it in this bowl. Alright, it's been 15 minutes. See, it relaxed quite a bit. Make it a nice ball. First, I'm gonna oil my bowl. I don't want way too much oil, I want just enough. Oil my hands. I'm going to do basically a coil fold. Pick it up. Make it into a ball. That's a nice smooth ball of dough. Just gonna plop that in there. Trusty shark hat. I'm let this, I'm gonna go into the fridge for another 16 to 24 hours and then I'm gonna ball it. All right guys, I'm excited. The dough is ready, I think. Oh yeah, that's a big old ball of dough there. So, I'll try to get this out. In about two hours, this will be ready to cook. All right. That's the dough. See it again when the pizza's ready.
the crumb shot of Vito's double fermented 70% Coolidge pizza dough. Very soft and crunchy. Here we go here. Got a beautiful crumb. And over here, same deal, very, very airy.